Hello everyone, Ian here from Sabenta Makeup Academy, Treasure House of Makeup. Today we are going to start looking at um, working with various mediums. We're going to look at liquid collodion today, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, it's all about liquid collodion. Uh, now we're just waiting for a few more hollows to join, but um, as a special effects artist, um, working out of kit, uh, you've got to be very flexible with what you work and, and also be very, um, you've got to be very innovative of how you come up with things. So um, I want to talk to you today about um, liquid collodion. So um, this is my little bottle of liquid collodion. It's by Meron UK. And um, liquid collodium is a flammable syrupy solution, uh, which is also called natrocellulose. So this is natrocellulose. Um, and it can be flexible or non-flexible, okay? So you've got two types. You've got the flexible and the non-flexible collodion. Um, this particular collodion is the non-flexible version, okay? So it's liquid clothing non-flexible version, and it's um, it's for use for makeup. Now what it does is, oh, hello, lovely Jessica, Georgia, Sam, hello, hello, hello. What it does, it creates a cellulose layer and it pulls in. So as you, you put it on somewhere, it will pull inwards and it dehydrates the area and it just pulls the skin in so you essentially you get that okay so you your collodion which is a cellulose it was invented in 1846 by a gentleman called louis nicolas menard uh, and and another person called flores de monte so flores de monte hello treasure house hello treasure house so we're just talking about uh, the meron liquid collodion treasure house which comes in a very handy little bottle like this. The thing is about bottles, um, so I'm, here's a Meron mixing liquid. When you are traveling with your kit, you don't want to travel with a huge amount of makeup. Uh, your back will not thank you for it. So uh, what I love about the Meron um, packaging is that you can get many sizes. Same with the Ben Nye, um, but this particular one, this is collodion, okay? So we were saying, um, Liquid collodion is also called natrocellulose. So liquid collodion, natrocellulose or flash paper. Now it has many uses as flexible or non-flexible. Now this is a non-flexible collodion which is used for makeup. Invented in 1846 by Nicolas Menard, sorry, Louis Nicolas Menard and Floris de Monte. They discovered the cellulose, cellulose nitrate and they dissolved it in ether. Um, Because of this, um, actually, you just got to bear with me for one second because I've just got to go and get something I need for the demo. One second. And here she is, she's back, she's back, right. So we're talking about liquid clothing, yes. Um, first invented in 1846 by Louis Nicolas Menard and Flores de Monte, they discovered cellulose. Now what this does, okay, this is a fabulous product and I really like it. It's very, very flexible and you can do lots of things, creating scars, creating cuts, uh, in deep indentations in the skin. Now what it does, hello Kelly, hello. It, what it does, it pulls, imagine this is the skin, it pulls the skin inwards so it creates an indentation and then from there you can play around with it. Now what I will say about this product, liquid collodion, is that it, it is flammable, it is, um, it is a bit stinky, don't eat it. But what I will say is you can go too far and then it becomes too fake. So today we're going to use it for two things. We're going to use it to do a split lip yeah? and also we're going to use it to do a bit of a, uh, an eyebrow split. So, 
Make sure you're in an aerated room. Always be sure you aerate it. Ah, yes. Okay, so treasure house, what would we use liquid clothing for? Um, you would use it for things like non-flexible clothing, um, scars, um, cuts, aging, stuff like that. So scars, cuts, aging, anything where you want to make the clothing to kind of create an indentation. That's what you use it for. Okay, so we're going to start comes with a little handy applicator like this. Now make sure you don't have a lot on. Um, now, before I do this, guys, do not put it inside your lip, yeah? It's just outside. You need some way that the skin's gonna contract. Now inside, it's watery and it's not gonna happen, okay? But go as, as tight as you can. Now, I'm going to do about between seven and ten layers, we'll see. Now, what you will feel, and I shall start the eyebrow as well. What's with there? What's with there? There you go. Obviously, when you're working with your eyes, always keep your eyes closed. Now, what you will feel, and you can tell this to whoever you're working with, you will feel a slight tingling. You'll also feel, I don't want to call it a burning because it's not burning, but you will feel a bit of a, it's a tingling, it's a sort of warming sensation, and that's totally, totally fine, okay? So as it dries, you just start applying. Now, I should also have to remember where the hell you applied it. Let's also talk about split lips, shall we, whilst we're doing this. Now, a split lip, lip refers to an open cut or sore in the lip. The lip skin is very delicate, very thin, and it can crack really easily. If you get punched, it's going to break, okay? Now, the causes for a split lip can be um, picking or licking. If you lick your lips too much, you can split it. The weather, dehydration will cause the thin membranes of the skin around here, around there, around the lip to lose water, and you can split the lip really easily. Injury, if you get hit in the mouth, you get a paper cut on the lip or you bite your lip, you can split it again. Okay, let's keep going. This is layer three. Now, what you're trying to do is create realism, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what we do with this is, this is layer three. Now, you can also get a split lip allergic reactions due to toothpaste, dental floss, lip balm, lipstick, makeup, etc. So split lips are quite a common occurrence. If you're doing out of kit effects, ladies and gentlemen, this is something you will have to do quite a bit. The nice thing I like about liquid collodion is because it's so, so this the little applicator, it's very easy to guide the product and you can really know where you're going. Layer four. Now, as you can see here, it's not tightening as much because I don't have a lot of, you know, this is not an area that's going to tighten as much, but here you can see the indentations beginning to happen. Yeah. Now, don't worry about the shine. We'll deal with the shine later. Okay. So you just essentially keep applying the layers. Now, this What we're going to do is we're going to create a little look based on kind of domestic violence. Now, at the moment, I'm sorry to say that some people have experienced domestic violence because they're stuck at home, because they may be stuck in a relationship they're not happy with. Now, all I will say for those people that are listening, reach out, keep talking to people, keep talking to um, Meron. Trash House, myself, Seventa Makeup Academy, any of your friends, just reach out, create something that makes you feel happy. If you're stuck in a relationship that's difficult, just be safe, okay? This is a difficult period for everyone. You've just got to stay safe and positive. So this look is not in any way made to belittle domestic violence, but as a makeup artist, violence is something that you create a lot of. Let's not do domestic violence, let's do a bottle. Let's do, imagine that someone's just punched me in the face and also the eye, okay? Now, as you can see, the skin, can you see there? It's 
beginning to tighten. Okay, and there, there we go. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Now, the only way you're going to get a split all the way through is if you apply a prosthetic. So this is what we call out of kit. This is designed for things you keep in your kit all the time. Now, look at this. It's a tiny, gorgeous little bottle. And if you can see my Meron UK, there is then. Now, thank you, Treasure House. I believe that we should speak about things and I'm always here to listen. Whether you're, a Oops. Whether you're a makeup artist or not, I want to hear help out. I think it's important that we help each other out. So let's go back to this. Um, because they're so handy, little containers. You can always keep them in your kit. That's called out of kit, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go. Oh, the lovely Juan, fabulous makeup artist, director of Seventa Makeup Academy has just joined me. Hello, Juan. Juan is an incredible, incredible fashion makeup artist, color maestro for Code 8 and incredible. Used to work for Cascara, an incredible airbrush artist. Okay, this is five, five, five. Hola, Juan. Now, you can see we're beginning to get the split. Can you see? The eyebrows beginning to get there as well. Now, we're just not gonna use, we're not just going to use Clothian today. We're also going to use our lovely friend, Liquid Latex. Now, for those of you that are new to the industry, you might say, oh, you know, Latex is so old fashioned, no one uses latex anymore. Well, actually, I will correct you on that. Latex is still used a lot, a lot, okay? A lot of times, you know, a lot of different mediums. Um, you can even get latex, as you know, latex prosthetics. And the trick is knowing how to work with latex, okay? Do not ever think that products have gone out of fashion. Um, a lot of brands have been making products for many, many, many years. This is six. Now, at this point, the skin's gonna feel really tight. It's gonna smell. It's gonna feel a bit uncomfortable. That's quite normal. What I will say about liquid collodion is that whenever you do something and you leave it there for say an hour or so, you are going to get a mark when you remove it. The trick is not to panic. I've had some actors, some models, when I did this and I took it off, they had a big red mark across here. They're like, oh my God, you've damaged my skin. No, it's because you've had a layer of polymer plastic on, pressing down, pressing in and down. That's gonna leave a mark. Imagine if someone grabs you for a while, you're gonna leave a mark. However the mark will go. What I always say to people, is make sure you really, really moisturize the skin after using collodion, okay? Or any makeup, but specifically collodion because then you will reduce. Now, aloe vera or any vitamin B will also, this is seven. There we go. I love this little product. It's so easy to work with. So easy to work with. Thank you, Treasure House. It's always very important to clean your face and really to, to cleanse after makeup and pre-makeup. And well, you can't wear any makeup when you're doing this kind of stuff. So another thing that's uncomfortable for some people is you have to say, okay, what I did before is I give myself a quick wipe with alcohol, just take any grease away. Now that's not comfortable for everyone, but it's a good way to take everything off and start again. Uh, but whenever you do a makeup, you should always cleanse, tone and moisturize afterwards. Okay. And you see, it's beginning to really split nicely. And there as well. Now you will have to be careful with your eyebrow. <laughs> when will I be live with Eleni again? So for those of you that do know, uh, I'm also a singer. This is eight. Uh, and vocal coach and um, I will be live with Eleni possibly next week now what I'm also going to do this is eight I'm also going to do a scar across here so you see really the effect of collodion okay okay 
I think we'll do one more on each of these and that will be actually two more. Let's make it really horrible. Now, the more layers you apply, the deeper the indentation becomes. So there we go. I'm going to do one more there and then I'll keep doing a few more here just because I want you to see what happens. Now it is shiny. You're saying, oh my God, it's shiny. We take that away. Because remember, we haven't done any color. Now when, you, when you're doing any effects work, it's very important to realize the process. Um, it's like when you do your face and you put your eyebrows and you've just got eyebrows and foundation, you look horrific. Same with effects. The beginning will take a while. And as you build the picture, everything just slots into place and you just got to have faith, okay? Look at that lovely split lip, there we go. Oh, I'm loving this indentation. And look at my eyebrow, fabulous. Right, there we go. So we're now gonna do another little one there. Ooh, there we go. I just wanna show you. Can you see the scar? Now, ooh, so there you go. I had a little bit too much there, so that was a bit excitable. No problem. Now, to take this off, you need an oily remover, and gently you will peel this, it will literally peel off. Now, can you see my scar creating there? How lovely that is. Okay, the lip. Great, that will be enough on the lip and the eyebrow. I'll do a bit more on the um, cheek in a minute. Okay. So, we now need to start painting the thing. So, I am using my trusted Thomas Supranant Delium. Oh, you can't really see it, so it's a bit too bright. Delium brushes by Thomas Supranant. Very good friend of mine, gorgeous artist. And there we go. So, old scar. Split lip, split eyebrow. Right. So let's get the powder in. And you can really see the detail. Can you see the split? Yeah? Look at that. Fabulous. This will also help you see where you are. Yeah, we're happy with that. And I think this one's quite nice. I'm gonna leave it there, no more. Because this is an old scar. There we go. Really get in there, because you want to take the shine in. So. Okay. See what I mean? There we go, there's my lip, and there's my thing. If you were using, if you were using it for the first time, what would you recommend they do? Is there any way special to apply, any, is there any way a special way to apply or would the wear in the body you should avoid right so you can either use a little brush or the applicator now i would recommend the applicator but be careful you don't have grips okay because then that will mess your you really want to be quite precise with this look as you can see this is very precise yeah very precise now, areas of the body, you can apply whatever you want. Um, apply the layers slowly, like I did. Just let them dry and you will feel as they dry. Now, areas of the body to avoid um, any mucosa, the nose, genitalia, 
eyes, inside the mouth, just avoid those areas, inside the nose, anywhere else you can, you know, go for your life, basically. Um, you, it's always worth doing a patch test, just to make sure you're not allergic. Now, it's very unlikely you're going to be allergic, but it's always worth doing it. Right, okie dokie. So, let's get painting, shall we? Let's get painting, because I love painting. So today, ah, new product, new product. So we have started with Meron Liquid Collodion. Let me just take, oh, there we go, that's better. Meron Liquid Collodion. Next thing we're gonna do from Treasure House is my Ben Nye FX Bruce palette. This is now alcohol. Now, I am going to make available a big document about the story of alcohol activated makeup. Now, amazingly enough, you start looking around, there's actually a lot of information, a lot of misinformation, but the one thing that I will say is that makeup, the alcohol activated makeup came around, was invented um, by Dick Smith around the late 70s, 80s. Um, this he was the father of it. Um, in the seventies, um, Fred Blau invented the Real Body Art Ink, which was the birth of Real Creations. However, there's a lot of there's been a lot of innovation since then. Dick Smith really pioneered um, alcohol activated makeup. Okay, he was the pioneer for this. So, actually, let's go back. Back there we go. Right. So there you go. Okie dokie, let's, let's get painting now. For a split lip, I always go, so this is my other palette I'm using, by the way. This is my primary effects alcohol activator palette by Ben Nye, available from Treasure House of Makeup. Um, and I always do a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of black inside not much to start with now the black will give you the depth that you're looking for a bit too much there now alcohol paints we will do a talk next week all about alcohol paints. But needless to say, painting with alcohol activated colors does take a little practice. Oh, it's the gorgeous Gabriella Heath, fabulous makeup artist. Gabriella Heath has just joined us. Hello, Gabriella. We are playing with liquid collodion today. There we go. So now, that was my black to give me the depth. My That was my Ben Nye alcohol activated black. Then we're gonna go to my dark burgundy. Okay, history of, one second. Now that's why I do the black first. It just gives that depth to the red. Now, History of alcohol activated palettes. Um, been around since the 70s. Uh, Real invented their inks in the 70s, but Dick Smith was really the father of the, in the 80s and 90s. He, he wanted new ways to work with silicon and pigment silicon. And um, he invented, he, sent, he started to experiment and invented essentially alcohol activated makeup. Now I heard that if he ran out of makeup, he could use, he could get by with a blue pen, a red pen, alcohol and a Q-tip. Can you imagine? Blue pen, red pen, alcohol and a Q-tip. That was how we, that, that's how, we, you know, the master Dick Smith played. I mean, come on, amazing. Right, I'm working with dark burgundy, which is this one here dark burgundy to give me the lovely depth now 
No. Always take it down a, a little bit if you can. And although I said you can't put collodion inside your mouth because it's going to dissolve, try to take it in as well. With the colour, okay? And that's going to be a bit, a bit whiffy, a bit stinky, but it's not going to kill you. So in this case, I have been thumped. Now, the thing I would say about working with collodion and scarring don't do lovely shapes, okay? Don't do nice, beautiful shapes. You have to remember the body is an organic thing. Even if you cut yourself to a microscopic level, the cut will never be... I mean, even with the cleanest of scalpel blades, or even a laser scalpel, you are going to have slight imperfections in the skin because the skin is not perfect. So when you're working on injuries, know what the injury has been sustained know what's how the injury got there that's the biggest first thing you need to know now you can see i'm extending it slightly with color just to blend it into my area yeah now remember ladies and gentlemen this is just about out of kit effects this is not using any prosthesis of any kind. Um, at Seventa Makeup Academy, I'm the head of SFX Makeup, and it's my favorite world because I get to teach what I love using my lovely treasure house of makeup products, which I love. So it's a perfect combination. Um, and my out of kit FX course looks at a lot, a lot of these elements. Plus, we also I also work on beginner's flat moulding. Uh, there you go, let's get in there. Mm -hmm. I hope you're all very well today. I hope you're not going mad. I hope you are finding new ways to keep yourselves occupied. And I hope you've been safe and lucky not to be falling ill. It's a very scary time at the moment and you just got to keep each other safe. Now, Millie Thorpe has just joined me. Hello, Millie. Now, when I take this off my eyebrow, it's going to, you're going to have to be careful because if you have any hair in your eyebrow, you might take half your eyebrow away with you, which you don't want. So, uh, working on Delian brushes. This one is 153, and I'm also using the 126, both 128, sorry, 126, designed by Thomas Supernan for Delian. Now, I like this one because, as you can see, it's angled. Which means I can really use it to kind of clean up underneath and above. Right. And then we've got a lovely scarlet. Okay. So that's all you need to do inside. Less is more, ladies and gentlemen. With this, less is very much more. Now, when you get thumped, you are going to get the, the, the break immediately. But you might also get a tiny bit of reddening around the area, okay? Just a little bit. Remember, you're trying to create realism here, which is one of the hardest to create. Make sure you really redden the lip. Again, I'm using my dark burgundy. 
Dark Burgundy by Ben Nye. Still put the colour on. You see it's really started to build up, isn't it? Really lovely. It just starts to build. Good. Now, if you're like me and you ended up with in the lockdown with all your makeup in a studio, um, <laughs> which is what happened to me, um, the gorgeous Treasure House are open and can send you, can buy what you need and can send you items. Uh, and I'm a big believer in supporting UK businesses and UK Treasure House is a family run UK based business. It's very important to keep our businesses alive. Okay. Now this one, because it's an old scar, we're just going to give it, ah, what are my first so, Treasure House just asked a lovely question about what are my tips to working with alcohol for first time users. Let me just colour this. Notice how little colour I'm actually applying. Um, so, alcohol palettes can be a bit tricky to work with at the beginning. And you need to treat them as if you were painting with uh, aqua colours. Now, if you haven't painted with aqua colours, I recommend you buy yourself a cheap set of aqua colours to paint with and practice. Because it's cheaper than using alcohol paint to start with. Just practice on a page or pa piece of paper. And as you get more proficient, you can, you can then expand into working with your alcohol paints on the skin. But it's essentially you create washes of colour. Now what I'm doing for my old scar, I'm mixing a bit of primary red on my dark burgundy again, okay? And also I'm just trying to create, I'm just stippling it on like this. Good. So, lip coloured, bit of red, bit of black inside first, then your burgundy, then a tiny wash around, okay? Then we're going to do a little bit of coagulated blood. Today we do a coagulated blood look. This one is by Aero. And I use my little tool. Now I use, for these kind of looks, um, you can use many tools, okay? But the tools I work with quite a lot are dental tools or wax tools. I'm using this kind of tool today. Okay. There's my coagulated blood. And notice I'm not using a lot of product, okay? I'm using very, very little product. You really don't have to use that much. So my coagulated blood goes in the groove caused by the, created by the collodion. Now you can move this product quite well. And then pat it down. Now, so you can see that's a lot of the moment. We're gonna take that away, okay? So don't panic. We will take that away. Now we get our 
baby wipe. Now I use Pampers Aqua 99% water uh, cotton recycle baby wipes because they can be re recycled and they are water based. So we start taking that away. That's my coagulated blood. That's my Meron coagulated blood. That's my liquid collodion by Meron. That's my two alcohol palettes, Primary and Bruce by Ben Nye. And my brushes that I've worked with are 153, 184, one two six by Delium, made by Thomas Supernote. So let's carry on. So get a bit of alcohol on your brush. And break that down. There you go. That's good. And then to finish the look off, we will do a tiny bit of blood. Actually, no, we won't. We will do a tiny bit of press cap by Ben Nye. Press cap Ben Nye. Again, I get my little tool. Very, very little. Yeah, I like that. Now, I always like to bleed down a little bit okay so so it bleeds down a little bit more I just get a brush little brush bit of alcohol and just there so So there we go. Um, it's going to be a bit of a shorter one today because um, I've managed to get what I wanted done. Actually, what I'm going to do before we do that is I'm going to um, I'm going to add a bit more washes of colour. Okay. So I get get. Now I'm working with my 175 brush, okay? My 175, which is dual fiber, as you can see, dual fiber. Now the dual fiber will add makeup in two layers, like that. So you will get you will get different compositions of makeup being added on top by the two fibers. Now I always use with alcohol palettes, going back to Treasure House's question. You use the, the lid as your handy mixing palette. Okay, it's a really good way to mix. And I'm mixing burgundy with my red. Yeah, 
Yeah, you see, I'm just extending it down a little bit just to just to join it together. This one I'm leaving because it's an old scar. We'll powder it in a minute and that's the end of it, really. But the lip one, I just really want to blend it in. Um, some lovely people have joined, so I'm just giving them all a wave. Now, I don't know about all of you, but I've had to learn skills on lockdown. Um, I was never... What other brushes are you... Oh, what are my favourite brushes? Well, well, I'll tell you about what, uh, the skills I've learned in a minute. But my favourite brushes... Um, I only, only use Delian brushes, okay? Um, Japanese company, Japanese brushes. Um, uh, they are vegan. They are synthetic, but feel, especially my fashion brushes. Treasure House, I think you can agree with me that when we are doing eye mats and I'm using brushes on our stand to apply the makeup they just feel incredible so the fashion brushes the delium fashion brushes are incredible they have their own range of effects brushes um which were developed by um thomas supina the glorious gloria Peñaranda has just joined now gloria is a fabulous latina fabulous makeup artist she's glorious um and I love working with Gloria. So I'm just talking about my favourite brushes, Gloria. Um, I only use Delium. All my kit. I mean, I've had my first brushes when I started working 23 years ago were Makeup Forever. Cryolan. Actually, no, Cryolan first because I started with Cryolan. Uh, then Makeup Forever and then MAC. Um, as I've progressed in my craft... Um, I still have some Cryolan brushes for, well, I use body painting, I use my Cryolan brushes, and I've got some Prisma brushes by Meron, but my FX brushes are always, always Delium, and also my fashion brushes. Now, at Treasure House, you can find fashion brushes and FX brushes by Delium. They're incredible. Um, they're a bit expensive, but they're worth it, because you will, it's, it's like, it's, these are my tools, these are my tools. So, my favourite ones will be Delium 184, for sure. Um, one three one nine three, and I love this one. I love this brush. Delium one seven nine. I love 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 this brush. So there you go. Right, let's carry on. So we just you we're just blending the effect in at the moment. We're just blending it in. So we've got the cut on the lip there. Okay, you can see quite it's quite deep. Yeah. The eyebrow. Now, it's still a bit shiny, so at the end of it, I will put a bit of, um, sorry, I just dropped something, never mind. Um, it's still a bit shiny, so I will put a bit more powder on it at the end. Because that's the only problem, you're working with natural cellulose, it's, 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 it's a layer of cellulose, and it is shiny because of the, it's, it's suspended in, in this case, an alcohol gel type substance, and it can become quite shiny. It's plastic, essentially. So the trick about being a casualty effects makeup artist is realism. And taking your time to build something that's believable. Okay, just take your time. It does not matter how big or small the effect is. But it's got to be believable. What I'm doing is I'm creating a little bit of a swollen effect, okay, using burgundy and red. And this swollen just brings it together. Now, we didn't use the latex today. Because I'm quite loving this swollen look just by colour. I'll use latex another day and you'll see the different effects. Because you can create peeling, you can create big um, blisters with the latex around the cut. This is all out of kit. So remember, I say it again, this is not using prosthetics. Now, I'm a prosthetics artist. I love prosthetics. But this is called out of kit effects. Yeah. 
Love you too, Gloria. Oh, the gorgeous Johnny Hooley, fabulous stylist, has just joined. Hello, Johnny. Welcome to our glorious time we're having here. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it, there we have it. We're now going to paint, we're going to use just a little powder. Now, here we go. I'm using... Ben Nye Neutral Set. Great powder for fashion, effects, whatever you want. Really lovely powder. And there's my old scar. Really nice colour. You've got to be careful with colours and scars, okay? You don't want to... Thank you, darling, Johnny. Um, you don't want it to look fake, okay? So then... Uh, I need a dry brush little brush so now I'm on my one five six and I'm gonna go in and just press it in a bit can you see there's a little shine there there you go the lips fine so then you can then finish up again by a little bit more blood if you really want to and because I do want to. Angie Effects has just joined. Hello Angie, how are you glorious? Another fabulous, I love that all my fabulous artist colleagues are joining. We're just doing a little bit of out of kit my love, out of kit using a bit of collodion, teaching people how to work with it. I just trying to talk just bollocks it up so what we do it's oh I shouldn't have said that on the video should I never mind uh, there you go there you go it's fine so let's finish this up and we'll talk about the products we used and why we did what we did Right, so, <laughs> don't worry, um, so, old scar, if the scar goes up, this is not a keloid, keloid scars go up, now I've got a keloid scar there, can you see, because it goes up like that, they tend to be congenital, that means you don't scar particularly well, this scar goes in, so what I've done is my collodion has Push the skin to go like that. Now, there's my old scar. There's my split lip. There's my split eyebrow. We've created all this using Meron Rigid Collodion. Now, rigid, you have two versions. Remember, I will recap. Collodion invented, first discovered 1870s by two gentlemen uh, as a polymer of cellulose, okay? You have rigid and flexible. This is rigid collodion, which is used for makeup. You have lots of different uses for collodion, but this one specifically, rigid collodion. Then we've got our colours, our Ben Nye pa alcohol palettes. Primary and effects. Our bloods, oh, our powder is our Ben Nye neutral set. Our bloods are coagulated blood by Meron. Our 
Fresh Scab by Ben Nye. And then my brushes that I have worked with today, primarily, are Delium, all Delium, uh, 193. By the way, this is Delium Effects. Okay, they have two ranges 193, 128, 153, 175, and 184. These were developed by fabulous friend of mine, Thomas Supernant. Emmy Award winner for Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Right. So, I'm going to leave it there for today. I hope you've had a lovely time. I've had a lovely time here with you. Um, I hope you will keep joining me. The next one is going to be on Friday. And we are, I won't tell you where it's going to be, but it's going to be fabulous. So, I hope you all have a lovely, lovely day. Please stay safe and keep, keep creating. Take care. Bye-bye.